inflation, disinflation, deflation, all terms related to the cost of things, gas, milk, cars, haircuts, you know, stuff and services. So what do they each mean and why do they matter? An upfront synopsis. Inflation is an increase in price, most often measured year over year, meaning how much more does something cost today compared to one year ago? Disinflation is a decrease in the rate of inflation. So things still cost more today than a year ago, but that year over year percent change is not as big as it was last month. And finally, deflation. Things cost less than they did one year ago. Check out this excellent graphic from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. It shows the percent change in cost from one year prior, month by month for April 2008 through October 2009. There's some solid inflation at the front. Then it moves into disinflation and finally deflation. As for why these measurements matter, they guide a whole host of monetary policy and spending decisions from the biggest government agencies down to the individual consumer. Yeah, even you watching this video, you may not be analyzing market trends, but the way price points move do make an impact. Super high inflation is probably obvious. Things cost way more, so you spend less or buy different cheaper things. And while rooting for deflation may feel like the right move, let's think on that for a moment. If you knew something was going to be cheaper tomorrow, would you buy it today or would you wait for the price to drop? Exactly. Enter another excellent graphic from the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, this one on the dreaded deflationary loop. Prices dropping leads to demand dropping because people are waiting to buy. That means profits decrease for businesses who then lay off employees out of financial necessity. Overall incomes start to decrease due to unemployment rising, which reduces demand again, leading to more deflation. And that, my friends, is why many government central banks aim for just a little bit of inflation, the often brought up 2% target. 